So on board the International Space Station today, some pretty exciting stuff happening. Uh, some small satellites, uh, microsatellites being deployed uh, from one of the airlocks on board the station. Uh, here to tell me a little bit more today is uh, Masa Miyake. He's the International Space Station Program Manager for JAXA, uh, the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency. Uh, Masa, thanks so much for being here today. Yeah, it's my uh, pleasure. First off, tell, tell me a little bit about this program. It's the, the Small Satellite Orbital Deployment Program. Tell me a little bit about it real quick. Okay, uh, the, our the GEM, the uh, Small Satellite Development Program, it's provide the, uh, good enough the uh, opportunity for the uh, potential uh, CubeSat user in mm -hmm. the world to uh, have the, some uh, uh, many launch capability into the uh, low Earth orbit from the ISS in compare with the other some uh, opportunity like uh, launch vehicle or mm -hmm. so on. It's very uh, uh, good the condition like uh, less uh, vibration and uh, also the uh, many satellites can be launched by the uh, HTB transfer vehicle or mm -hmm. other the commercial vehicle like uh, a Dragon and the Cygnus and, and by the, uh, some soft back and also the uh, last time checkout could be very easy by crew for mm -hmm. before the yeah. deployment. So they are uh, very easy to handle the satellite. So I hope that the many people can uh, mm -hmm. use this opportunity. Yeah, so just a really unique way to launch yeah. satellites, basically, as opposed to, you know, launching them up on a launch vehicle like yeah. normal. And, and they're very small. And one thing you mentioned was, you know, the crew can kind of do a final checkout of it. What What are some of the things, because Koichi was responsible okay. for all of this on board, what are the, some, of the, some of the things he was let doing me, to get ready? Let me clarify the exact what mm -hmm. uh, we were doing, that the, uh, the robotics arm um, and... Uh, finally, the grabs to some of the deployment mechanism from mm -hmm. the our airlock, and the uh, crew can do this some um, unpack the satellite and uh, set up the those satellite onto the our airlock pallet. Mm -hmm. uh, and before that, uh, the uh, crew can install the uh, all the cube sat into the our deployment mechanism, mm -hmm. and then uh, set up the airlock, and uh, we uh, we can. Uh, Close the airlock, then uh, our uh, ground operator can uh, open the hatch and uh, deploy the uh, satellite. And uh, either crew, uh, both crew and the uh, ground team mm -hmm. can operate the robotics arm. And uh, also the uh, send a command can be done uh, by crew or uh, ground team. It's up okay. to the uh, uh, condition of the uh, crew time. Mm -hmm. If crew is very busy, our ground team can help to deploy by ground. But the uh, important thing is that crew only can check out yeah. and uh, also the uh, uh, set up the mm -hmm. uh, airlock. Yeah. That's a very important job. Well, crew. yeah, and I mean, it's great when you can have that kind of crew or ground interaction with the device. And I know we have some video mm -hmm. uh, from that uh, deployment a little bit earlier today. Just tell us a little bit about what's happening here. So, what, I mean, what are we looking at right here? Yes, uh, now the uh, our robotics arm um, waiting to, to open the air outside door. Then uh, uh, now just uh, air lock the table just deployed from the inside to the outside. Mm -hmm. And the uh, crew have already set up the, uh, the uh, our deployment mechanism on the airlock table. And uh, you can see there's some uh, graphs, the uh, fixture. And uh, now the, uh, the our robotics, um, GEMA robotics, I'm just waiting to uh, fully de deploy the uh, such a deployment mechanism. Mm -hmm. And again, this is all taking place on yeah. kind of the ex on the exposed facility outside yes, of Kibo. Yes. It's a very unique uh, uh, capability. In the Kibo. Only Kibo can mm -hmm. provide this capability. And this is the uh, our JSSOD, the deployment uh, mechanism. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, this big table is uh, our multi-purpose uh, experiment platform and uh, just some uh, two uh, same the some uh, deployment code in the light side of the uh, this platform and the three each of the three uh, cube set uh, it's a 10 square meter uh, centimeters uh, mm -hmm. size cube set can be installed so total six 
CubeSat could be deployment. So this could deployed. be six at a time. They did three yeah, today. The maximum, but the, today the uh, three of uh, them can uh, have already de deployed. And the tomorrow, tomorrow that the, we have the uh, uh, big size, the uh, CubeSat, we mm -hmm. so-called the three U unit. It's a 10 uh, centimeter and the 30 centimeters uh, big satellite. So these CubeSats can come in multiple sizes? Yes, multiple. So any, uh, the, so just any type of the mm -hmm. two unit or one unit or three unit can be accommodate this uh, deployment okay. mechanism. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about the satellites that were deployed this morning? Okay, the, today the three the CubeSat were deployed there they go. Right, now, uh, right now and uh, uh, one is a uh, Japanese uh, satellite, and, uh, not Japanese, but uh, one satellite was uh, developed by the Vietnam National Satellite Center mm -hmm. uh, uh, with uh, some co cooperation of the Tokyo University in Japan. And uh, those satellite the, uh, the, uh, is a kind of the uh, skill uh, training and uh, development for the uh, young en engineer in the mm -hmm. Vietnam in the, the people to help the how uh, they could be uh, they could be trained uh, to develop the uh, spacecraft okay. using this uh, small satellite so we, it's very honor for us to yeah. cooperate with the Vietnam the uh, people on this satellite mm -hmm. and the other two rest of two satellites that uh, were developed by the uh, commercial co US commercial company okay. and the Nanorak company and uh, it's also the unique capability. Just uh, they have some uh, open platform type the uh, uh, equipment uh, program, uh, which can be delighting the by mm -hmm. the uh, public user. So any type of the uh, uh, application, like a sh shot, shoot uh, some picture or something, mm -hmm. uh, very uh, different purpose can be. Yeah. Uh, applied for this uh, satellite. So really, really diverse amount of options available for the satellites and yeah. a lot easier to get into possibly yeah, than so just tra tra many, traditional many satellites. Many different yeah. uh, the user can use the one satellite. That's very yeah. unique. And I know you guys got some big plans, you know, kind of coming up yes. for what you're hoping to do with this program. What are some of those? Yeah, since uh, this uh, uh, RMS and the AROC is a very unique capability. Mm -hmm. And la now the, uh, we have done a two uh, deployment mission uh, last year and this year, yep. and uh, in the future, the uh, t uh, we have the other some uh, different the, uh, deployment mechanism developed by, by, developed by the NASA or mm -hmm. Nanorak commercial company and so on. Uh, so such a, for example, the some big size the satellite also can be deployed by okay. the NASA new. Uh, uh, deployment mechanism we so-called a cyclops in uh, maybe the cool next to, next <laughs> year and also the coming uh, orbital one uh, the nanorock company to mm -hmm. provide uh, some big sites the, uh, their own uh, deployment mechanism so the our JAXA side can accommodate uh, those uh, any different type of the uh, deployment yeah. mechanism into the uh, our airlock and the JMRMS. and also the other some uh, aspect is the uh, we also the uh, retrieve the uh, some uh, outside the equipment like uh, mm -hmm. some uh, fa some trouble happened on uh, some outside battery or some uh, uh, mission equipment uh, we can retrieve the, those the uh, uh, equipment through the airlock oh, to the inside and the crew can repair the, yeah. the such uh, equipment and jet uh, re deploy the those. Uh, 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 equip, equip, equipment to the outside. So the the NASA developed the uh, uh, joint universal t uh, universal type. Any size can be mm -hmm. uh, grasped by yeah. such a joint gem uh, operation transfer interface. So the uh, uh, we hope the many different type of the uh, mission could be used mm -hmm. uh, yeah. used. For, so by our uh, un very unique uh, capability, GMRMS and the Aero. Yeah, like you said, very unique, very robust yeah. capability on board the International Space Station and the CubeSat deployed this morning, just one of the projects that is going to be let out of the Japanese uh, module on board the station. Uh, so again, Masa, um, 
thank you so much for coming on, International Space Station Programmer uh, Manager for JAXA. Uh, really appreciate it, and again, really cool project, and look forward to some of the other projects uh, that are going to be operating outside of the Kibo airlock uh, in the future. Yeah, thank it's you. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much.